Hello folks, welcome to bhptrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you live example of advanced data analytics in OBI. In today's example I am going to show you how to create bar chart with dynamic gradient. Okay. So let's understand the requirement first. My business team would like to know some information about the product based on revenue. Primarily they are more interested to see the list of the product where the product revenue is more than the average revenue of all the products. Second, they like to see the product where the product revenue is 10% more than the average product, 20% more than the average product, and 10% less than average products. So in simple word, they would like to see what are the products which are performing better than average, lower than average, how better than average, and how poor than average products. Okay. This is what we are going to do live. There are multiple ways of doing this example. I'm going to show you the easy way of using variables. There are more advanced and optimized ways are available, which we talk about in subsequent topic. So I'm going to connect to my OBI sample VM. I go to my analysis and I select sample subject, sample sales. In this example, we'll make it pretty simple. I select product and the product line of business. Okay. Uh, I'll select product line of business only. That is sufficient. And I'll select the revenue. So the basic view over here is tabular view. I could see product line of business and revenue. Okay, I plot a chart over here. A bar chart which is default view and I place it beside my tabular view. Okay. I'll make it a little smaller just change the size of it go to properties and make it a little smaller. The important point over here which we are going to discuss now how to plot draw a dynamic line over here. Okay. Now let's see this is pretty interesting in order to do this I first like to identify the revenue average revenue Average revenue plus 10, average revenue plus 20, and average revenue minus 10%. Okay. So I go to edit formula. I'll take an average of it. I just write a function called average and change the name over here called average revenue. That makes sense to the people, business team, by giving a business vocabulary average revenue. Though I'm not going to use this column to display. Then I use average revenue plus 10 percent, multiply by 110 percent, 1.10 and I say it is average revenue plus 10 percent. Same I'm going to do with next column. This is going to be average revenue plus 20 percent, 1, 0, 2, 0. It's going to be 20 percent. I change this to average revenue plus 20 percent and I also like to see the product which are doing poor than average revenue so I added the formula over here once again and I apply average once again I select average, select column from here, and I'll take a 90 percent and below average, 10 percent below than average, right? So I say average revenue minus 10 percent, right? I got all the majors. I'll use these majors to perform calculation. Oh, my double quote got missed over here. I use the dynamic major to draw a dynamic bar with a gradient. Save this. I call this bar with gradient. And I go to the result section. Now I make this bar meaningful. So the first step I'm going to draw a line which says the list of products which are doing better than average. So go to the property section, edit graph properties, go to scale and go to scale marker. A scale marker I'll continue to add multiple marker. First marker I like to slow, you know, very clear. So I'll use a marker in pixel size 2 and I call this as average. Okay. And the value of average is dynamic, not constant. So I select column, column name. We have just now found an average. There's a thick line which says product which are performing better than average and below than average. So you see the line 
I could see very clearly communication, electronics, games, and TV are doing better than average. Their revenues are more than the average revenue of all the products. Now I keep on adding gradients. I again go to property section, scale, scale marker, and add a couple of more lines. So this is average plus 10 percent. I'll use a range over here. So range, the lowest value is average and average plus 10 percent. Column name, average plus 10 percent. And I draw with a color yellow and green light yellow, add another line, average plus 20 percent, again I use a range over here as well, dynamic value, column name, 10 plus 20 percent, between 10 to 20 percent. Column name, 20%. And this I draw with a green color. I draw a last line, one more marker, which says average minus 10%. And this I draw with range. And it is going to be in between my column name average minus 10 percent plus average that's it so I'll display with the dark yellow color we say we explicitly meet fail to meet target or far below than average so you see we draw gradient over here which give a really meaningful information to my business I could clearly see over here that my product digital is, I can even make it a little bigger to, you know, easy to understand. I'll just change the size of it. It's become readable. And let's analyze it. I could see over here product or digital is less than 10% less than my average. Electronic is 20%, even more than 20% on average, close to. This is in between 20 and 15 and 20% than average and this is far to more than 20 percent of my average and this line draws over here average so this kind of analysis business would like to see this is a simple example subscribe to our YouTube channel and in the subsequent weeks we are going to post and create more advanced statistical analysis with OBI that's it for today should you have any question please feel free to write to us you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more than thousand videos across different BI products Thank you and have a great day ahead.